My name is Malcolm Graham. I'm the CEO of LimeTree. We are a digital marketing agency, and today I'm going to be talking you through some tips and tricks on how to better use the internet and mobile devices. So you've got to start off by turning off your cable or DSL modem. Most of these have a really obvious on-off button. Then connect the router to a modem. If your modem does not have a power switch, unplug the power source. Connect the router to a modem. Plug one end of the network cable into your modem. Plug the other end into the port on your router labeled internet. This may also be called WAN or WLAN. The labels will vary depending on the type of router you have. Plug another network cable to the ethernet port on your router. Typically, the ethernet ports are labeled one, two, three, four, like these. But any port not labeled WAN or WLAN or internet will normally work. Connect the other end of this cable to your network or ethernet port on your computer. Then open an internet browser on your computer. In the address bar, type in the address of your router and hit enter. The address details for your router will be provided in the packaging of, of your router or in the instructions that come with it. This will give you access to the router settings. The address of your router will depend on the brand of router you have. The address will always start with http colon forward slash forward slash and will be followed by a series of numbers and dots. These are called IP addresses and this is like a telephone number for your internet connection. If you do not have any product documentation, search for your router's address on the internet. All the well-known routers will have support websites with this information available. And if it's a new router, it's gonna have the default setting. Once you've located these credentials, you should input the default username and password for your router. You will be asked for this in a pop-up window after you enter the router address. You can find this on your router's product documentation. Generally, the default username is admin and the default password is either admin or password. Then you need to configure your router's settings. Locate the input box labeled SSID. This is the name of your network and what people see when they attempt to connect to a network. Name your SSID something unique that you'll recognize when you see it pop up on your screen. Or if you're security conscious, then you can name your SSID something that's not associated with you so that it's more hidden. You then need to assign your router a new username and password because obviously if you leave the default admin admin or admin password, then anyone can connect to your router um, and interfere with your network. So choose something for your password that's secure and only memorable to yourself. You can consider securing your network with encryption. This ensures that no one who does not have the encryption key will have access to your network. This uh, is normally called the WPA or WEP, and these are different types of encryption that run across wireless networks. Many of the router products actually force you to have a combination of letters and numbers. If it is not forced, then you should consider doing this anyway so that it's more secure. You will need to enter the password several times. Once you've done this, disconnect the network cable from your computer if you are setting up a wireless network. Then you can test to see if the wireless connection is actually working. That's how to access a router.